Hey guys, today I will talk about Eternal Masters, not in a positive light. I figured they were going to print a lot more Eternal Masters than before, than like Modern Masters 2015 or Modern Masters. They are not. They are printing less. And it is a, a shame because essentially these vendors are going to make their money. Uh, they will absolutely make their money on the back end. As you can see, City of Traders, Tropical Islands, every single legacy staple, dual lands included, have skyrocketed in price anywhere between 25 to 80%, depending on the card. All the dual lands have gone up about 30 to 40%. So what? who is Eternal Masters really supposed to help? Is it supposed to help the players? It is not. I will absolutely tell you, Eternal Masters is to help the vendors. The vendors, I mean, take a look at this, Lion's Eye Diamond up another 46.7%. And this is only over a week, and we haven't seen the worst of it yet. Uh, Mox Diamond, I mean, look at the charts. It's just like stable, 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 and then after Eternal Masters is announced, spike. And who's making most of the money from the spike? It is vendors, it is people who knew this what was coming. Very sad, very sad, because no one, this is not going to, Eternal Masters is, I will openly state, will not help anyone get to play Legacy. Yeah, you have Force of Wales, that's awesome. But hey, what about the Tropical Islands you need to play the in the deck? What about the Underground Seas? Guess what? The small money that you would save from Force of Will being reprinted as a Mythic is nothing compared to the money you just lost because the dual lands have increased in price. So Legacy, it, I, this Eternal Masters is not to help Legacy. Wizard of the Coast is a publicly traded, Wizard of the Coast is part of Hasbro, which is a publicly traded company. And the only thing they really should care about, and the only thing their corporate documents tells them to care about, is the shareholders, the investors. And Eternal Masters, I, I don't get it. I don't understand why the print run is so small. Because the vendors should not be afraid of it. Oh, okay, they lost money from Wasteland and Force of Well, but they made back two times, two to ten times that amount of money in the dual land staples they have. Just the dual lands, just the Lion's Eye Diamonds, just every other single card on their reserve list. I find it very surprising if there was a store and all they had was Wastelands and Force of Wills. No, these stores also have... Dual lands, which have spiked 30 to 40 percent. They have City of Traders. They have the Moxes. I mean, it is fascinating to me that there would be anyone in the community who said that, oh, you know, this is reprinting for so well, always land, you know, bad for the game. Because it's likely that your entire deck just went up in price.